Hey, what's up, YouTube? Thanks for tapping in to another episode of Trapping T-Shirts with your boy, Big Cricket. You know our motto over here, you ain't got to sell dope, you just got to sell dope shit. Hey, in this video, we're going to be talking about sublimating a coffee mug. This is part two to how to design a coffee mug, if you was here for the last video. Hey, before we get started, don't forget to like these videos, subscribe, and comment down below. Hey, make sure you do like it, man, so the algorithm can pick up on these videos. All right, starting off, we're going to open up design space. Uh, from the last video, we had that uh, design that was attached, but it needed to be flattened. So it could be all one image. You ain't want the machine trying to cut between all of the uh, all of your designs. Excuse me. But yeah, let's go up here and hit make it. And then we're going to want to go over to mirror. Make sure you mirror your design. After that, hit continue. All right, next we're going to send this thing over to the printer. But before we do that, we're going to turn the bleed off. And then we're going to use system dialog and hit print. What this is going to do is going to bring up the dialog box for your printer settings. And we're going to check a few things before we do print this image. So let's go up and click preferences. And then let's make sure we change this paper type to premium presentation matte. We want to change the color to high instead of standard. We want to make sure multi-page is off. We're going to turn that off. We're going to turn print preview on. Then click OK. No, let's go up to more options. Excuse me. Uh, let's click custom. If you do have a color profile loaded into your computer, turn high speed off and you do not need to turn on mirror here. And then let's go back, click OK and click print. Now here's your print preview. If it looks good to you, go ahead and click print and get this thing printed out. We're going to let ours print and then we're going to get on with this tutorial. Alright, we got our design printed right here. We do have that sleeve. We did cut that out too. We got our 12 ounce coffee mug. You know we got some heat transfer tape. We got our mug press right here. Like I said, don't think you got to spend a lot of money. This came with the other heat press. And then don't forget your lint roller. All right, so we got our design wrapped around the mug, just a slight taping. But what you want to do is you want to tape this thing down real good so it doesn't move once you get it in your press. You want to tape down this seam, that seam, and then you want to tape around this top edge real good and the bottom edge real good. Just like this right here, just like you see that. And then we're going to wrap that sleeve around there and tape that too. This is what it should look like once you're done, and then you're just going to slide it into your mug press for 4 to 5 minutes on 400. So we're going to slide this thing in here. We already got that wrap around there, so we ain't worried about it bleeding onto the machine. And then we're going to clamp it. I gained it what it came out looking like after 4 and a half minutes. I ain't mad with that. I probably could have left it in there a little longer, but I'm cool with that. Because I'm going to put some coffee in and smoke some of this devil's lettuce. You know what I'm talking about? Well, all right, gang. This has been another episode of Trapping T-Shirts with your boy, Big Crooked. I hope you learned something. Uh, don't forget to beat the cheeks off the notification bell so you can know when we drop something else. So we're going to keep on dropping shit. And don't you run.